This multifunctional workbench costs over 1200 euros, while mine costs only around 200 euros and can even roll. And this is how I built it. My workshop is pretty tight, so I need something compact and mobile. It's based on aluminum profiles, 30x30mm and 8mm wide slots, and of type B, a system from Germany. Additionally, I need some hammerhead nuts, some screws, some brackets and of course the wheels or casters. All brackets must be assembled like this, so I prepared them all beforehand. 24 pieces in total. After that is done, I can connect the first profiles. I used another profile here just to have the right distance. And this is how it looks tightened up. Time for the next part. I added another two brackets and was able to just slide the other profile from the side. You may wonder why this corner is kind of like empty and the answer is clamps. All this system can be used with clamps. That's the actual reason to use these aluminum profiles with 8mm slots, because the normal clamps work with them. All good so far, so let's continue assembling. Oh and by the way, the final sizes will be 120cm long, 70cm wide and 95cm high. The height is actually to be as flush as possible with my table saw. Alright, the kind of legs are mounted, looks good, let's go on. And the final set of brackets. Looks good, time for the final aluminum profiles. And I made a little mistake here, because those profiles will not go like the other corners. You don't have this empty hole. You need to make them actual flush, because the casters will go into the holes later. And we have a cube. Looks cool in my opinion. Not a final workbench though. The next task is to tap the threads. M8 in all four corners for the casters. So let's use this cheap and hopefully sharp enough threading set. I bought just for this use case. M8, yes. Let's assemble it. Not the most tight fit, but it will work, I hope. This is fine. As far as I know, you're supposed to turn it like uh, half a turn back after like one full turn or something like that. I just tried it. It helps to get the metal chips out. Also this set uses like three incrementally wider cutters per hole. So yeah, this took a while. But it's done. Some cleaning and the threads are ready. Time to screw in the casters. Rolls like a charm. And the brakes work too. And we reached a big milestone. I can finally put it on the ground, roll it around. Almost feels like a workbench. Extremely stable and durable. So yeah, nice progress here. Let's continue with the next step. And that is the worktop. That's a really juicy heavy thing. Perfect for a worktop. And also I got it for free actually. On something that you can probably call the German Craigslist. Yeah, look at that. 28 millimeters of solid laminated wood. It has these things on the back though that I have to remove. The left one was really easy to remove. The right one not that easy, but it worked. So time to cut the board. It will just lie on these brackets. I will not screw it or anything.
Seems like I didn't mess up. Now the other side. And if I did not mess this one up, we will soon have something that is almost a workbench. <laughs> yeah, boy. Really satisfying. And it fits really, really good. You can call it a workbench at that point. I mean, we are not done, but it's a working workbench. Time for another sturdiness test and I weighed around 100 kilograms. So yeah, this is solid. Can't complain. And I really like it. This makes me really happy already. Here you can see the height of the table saw and the workbench. The idea is that I can use the saw to cut long pieces and the workbench serves as a support. And here I tested just that. I wanted to see how good it works. And as you can see, just like intended. So yeah, let's go on with the next step. Here I'm chamfering the worktop so it doesn't splinter and it also looks much better. This is another one of those very satisfying tasks and results. And now the last bigger job, the dog holds. So I took some measurements, made some calculations and then marked all the spots where the holes go. 35 in total. And then I started drilling. And oh boy was this tough. My screwdriver is just not made for this and also the drill bit was not the sharpest. Two hours later. But after quite some time and doubling my triceps radius, the dog holes were done. And I was able to fill two little buckets with wood shavings. The holes tore out a bit on the back side, but that's not a big deal. Rounding all holes was the next step. That went pretty easily. I decided to do that on the back too, just to prevent the tearing a little more. I did a quick check with my bench dogs and had to make some adjustments to some holes. Basically just the holes that hit the groove on the back. And we are done! I'm so happy that I finally have a mobile workbench. It was really annoying with this big desk you have seen in the video earlier. I mean look at all this space and this mobility, but it is not perfect I have to admit. One problem is that the profiles on the side are lower than the worktop. So when I clamp anything just to the side, as you can see it raises on the other side. But you can counter this just with another clamp on the other side. Or, and I will do that probably more often, I will have some scrap wood or something to just fill the gap. And then of course I have the dog holes with the bench dogs, so not even sure how often I really need the slots on the sides. And let me tell you, this thing is tight. You're not moving anything here. I mean of course you will move the complete bench at some point when you push hard enough. But whether I will file, chisel, clamp again, hammer, saw, brush, clamp even more, measure or sand, I am sure this bench will handle it. Here I'm tightening some wood from the forest that I need to clean for another project that I have in mind. But before that I will probably build another table from aluminum profiles for my 3D printer with enclosure and my CNC router because it's just lying around and it's annoying. So yeah, that's it. That's my multifunctional workbench for under 200 euros. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. Please leave a like, please subscribe and see you next time for the next awesome project.